What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today we're doing something not fully, fully car related, but it does relate to detailing and cars. This is my effed up wall. Uh, this is years, years. Um, if you watched any previous video, um, I've had this wall covered in a uh, blanket like this. Basically a sound deadening blanket. Um, and under the sound deadening blanket were acoustic tiles and I've had that on the ceiling too to try to stop Vibrations from previous cars namely my Hellcat and my Trackhawk because they were so viciously loud They would shake things off of walls and rattle the whole house and it was just a lot of uh, a lot of problems so you know as uh, as my detailing hobby expands <clears throat> Yeah, so does my lack of room problem uh, and I really am upset that I have some very nice and fun polishers machines etc that I can't display so what I'm thinking what the plan is here is a twofold situation what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna well, I took the blanket off and as you can see, this wall honestly does need to be repaired, but I don't feel like doing that at the moment. So what I'm going to do, or I'm going to try to do, and this can be completely off base. I don't know what I'm doing fully, so we're going to see how this all goes. But I'm going to take these acoustic little tiles off, these foam things. Uh, I'm just going to take some filler stuff maybe and just fill in a little bit of the holes nothing crazy this is obviously going to have to be um, repaired before i move from this place next year and uh i think what we're gonna do is i'm gonna get a piece of plywood that's about that tall and we're gonna come down to about the height of this so i'm gonna have something that goes from this to here and the plan is hopefully I'm going to just attach that to the wall I gotta find out where there's studs secure those um, like a, a piece of plywood to this so that I have a strong piece as long as it's to uh, a stud we're, we're golden right so that's my thinking right um, and then from there I'm gonna put polishing racks hopefully if this the uh, plywood thing works I'm gonna get a five polisher there and a five polisher there um, and then in the middle I'm gonna have my the Reaper uh, custom one that's coming with this custom polisher that I pre-ordered sometime in October or whatever I don't know when I'll actually post this video or when this project will be done or if I'll post this video but for right now I'm just gonna get uh, everything set up so that's what we're gonna try to do just get a piece of wood here and that's it so we're gonna go to Home Depot tomorrow morning, see if I can find a piece of wood, and see what kind of damage we're gonna make. Oh my god, stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna give a status update here. Again, I wanna preface this by saying I am not super good when it comes to uh, planning this kind of stuff. I'm kinda just winging it. When we move and get the new house, I will, uh, I will be able to do this a lot more strategically, but this is what we have so far. And I'm gonna tell you what I think about the situation. I like it, I'm happy so far. We're gonna stain it right now, or try to start staining it. I got ebony wood stain because I wanted it to be black, because there's just so much black everywhere else and I like it. These are what we went with. Um, it's got a special little head that goes on it and Got these all in the studs. This thing is rock solid. It ain't going anywhere. It's super, super solid. Um, cut out for the socket down there so I can basically have everything tucked away for the one socket I actually do use. I'm probably gonna change that to a, um, a black um, electrical outlet cover. But like I said, we got this color in one coat. Results three times faster, dries in an hour. So I got these with 
the little foam rollers here. So what I'm going to end up doing is starting to put some coats on there. I anticipate, obviously, at least one coat. We could go up to two or three, depending on how it's taking it. I was going to do painting, but from what people are telling me in the research I've done, if you scratch a painted surface, you're going to see this color wood underneath it. But if we stain the wood, then what will end up happening is if I scratch, scratch it or scuff it, it, it absorbed into the wood, so there's a higher likelihood I won't see this color and, you know, any marks or nicks or scrapes or scratches inside the wood will be fine. And again, like I said, I got black screws uh, on there, so they'll probably be a lot less noticeable. So we're going to start staining that right now and uh, see how that works out. So uh, this is how it's coming along. So I don't know if I'm going to need a second coat, uh, to be honest with you. I think it's gonna be good enough with one. I just, I don't need it like, wow, super dark black, but it's gonna be, we'll see how it dries, you know, after an hour or so, and then I'll decide uh, we're going in here, and, you know, again, I'm not, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off, Mr. Professional Painter, but, you know, criticize me all you want. Basically, at this point, I don't care. I'm just coming in here with my little foam roller. And uh, I'm just doing my damn thing here. So, I'm going to finish this whole thing. Stain it all up. I know, uh, you know, a lot of people use rags and stuff. But I, um, I didn't. I did what I wanted to do. You know, like when you got a situation like this, where I just blob this shit in there. And it's going to look awesome. Can't even see the screws, really, once everything's done. And uh, it's going on pretty nice. I just got to go through each, each one like that. And it gets rid of all the stuff. I'm just trying to avoid like getting it on the cabinets and stuff so not that I can't wipe it off right away but you know I don't wanna have to do that so yeah that's the process um, once this is all done I'm just gonna have a nice black wall here and uh, hopefully within the week my stuff comes so let's check back when it's done okay last little uh, update until my polisher racks show up I just did a couple touch-up spots here, here, and here that have to dry, but overall I ended up just doing one coat, and I'm pretty happy with it. It's as dark as I would want it to be, and you can't really see the bolts. That actually came out. <laughs> Listen, I'm not perfect by any means. I don't F with wood. I have nothing but respect for tradesmen and, and woodworkers and people that do this stuff. Me, I wing it. You know, if you follow me, that I wing it. It's all about that full send life. We, we're going to try it, and if we screw it up, I'm going to end up uh, replacing the whole drywall. So this was a full send operation. We came in, and what I did plan on doing was potentially going around this and, and doing it that way, but then I realized I was going to end up having the cord, um, you know, doing, doing a situation like that anyway. So I... Uh, I just left it so it's going to come down anyway. Maybe I'll just paint that part of the wall black. That might be something to do. But we got like cabinet screws and, and everything. It, it, this is uh, this is seriously strong. I'm pretty happy. Uh, now I just got to figure out how I want to lay things out. Order a couple more things. See what shows up. And uh, maybe we could start getting some of these polishers on the wall. The PXE, Flex PXE, I'd like to get that out of a bag. My rotary out of a bag. Uh, the nano polisher, probably just leave it in the case. And, you know, that gives me a free for all here to have my two minis. And I have one other, my little three inch uh, Rupes, my mini Bigfoot. Then I've got all the bigger uh, polishers. So I, uh, I'm going to see I, it's what's going to fit, what's not going to fit. This is going to be a dangerously close situation, and um, we're going to have to we're going to have to wing it. But I'm liking it so far. Worst case scenario, like I said, what we can do 
is they make stuff like this, which I have two of. Uh, these are by KXK Dynamics. Shine Supply has another set just like it that they, they you know, they got to put their logo on. One thing I could consider doing is uh, Polka Premium, which is the company that I got coming. They have uh, singular ones, so if I have any uh, extra stuff that's not going to fit on there because i do want everything on there i want my melee and my gear driven flex up there and my rotaries up there and i i do want all my stuff up there so we're going to try to bundle it all together and i got the reaper coming that limited edition one so that'll probably be tucked away here separate from all the other stuff and then we're going to go from there but anyway that was the last little update i'm going to, have to put the camera down and tune in once we have all of the stuff and then at this point it should just be Simple stuff. Uh, I'm gonna just screw it to the wall. I, it's great. We got three quarter inch giant plywood, uh, sanded plywood. So I'm able to just put what I want when I want on this wall. It could go right through into the drywall, and it doesn't matter if it's gonna hit a stud or not because it's going through three quarters of an inch of plywood. It's gonna be structurally sound, and I'm very happy about that. I can't tell you how happy I am. Can you hear it in my voice? Probably not, because I usually don't show any emotion. <laughs> Except for that time, right there, I lied, all right. So, like I said, making progress. I have four of these with one more on the way. I don't know if you could see this. Can you see this? Yeah, you could see this, right? Uh, I'm still dealing with the sticky stuff. Now, this isn't a big deal to some people. It's, to me, it is. I don't know what goes on. I've never had this happen, but the adhesive in this is like really bad, like really, really bad. So, I can't use this. I just can't use this. I put it on, uh, it's not overly hot. It's not anything, it's actually on a chilly side. I put it on there and it started like dripping, leaking the adhesive and it just would look stupid. It was, I, I gotta wipe this with goof off or goo gone and hope I don't, you know, mess up with that. But it, I, I'm trying to do my best to not have you know, issues with my tools, but the other ones didn't have that. You know, the other the other adhesive uh, things didn't do that. So, um, I'm a little uncertain as to why, but I thought I would bring that up because I think everybody needs to know what's going on with what they're purchasing. The other thing that's kind of funny is, you know, this design is weird. Am I the only one? that sees like, how am I supposed to come in straight? I'm gonna have to come in on an angle to put these screws on it, that's stupid. I get you wanna do a nice, like no holes in the front, but we did key keyhole mod things here. So you could have done that. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. You could have had a hole like that like we did, where it's something I could put it on the wall. That would have made sense. This doesn't make sense. I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not. This is it. We're gonna finalize this video. We may make a uh, return to this as I tweak things and change my mind, which is inevitable. Um, this is, how I'm gonna lay this out. I think, for me personally, this turned out really good. We're just gonna give a quick walk over of what this is and, and where my head went. Uh, realistically, what I would like to do is add more lighting. I was gonna put strips across the whole uh, perimeter of it, but I noticed that this is touching. I, I, I didn't plan out uh, enough, but again, as I probably mentioned, I'm only gonna be in this space in this house for another year year and a half max so too much you know adding 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 when i'm not planning on staying long term and we're gonna have the house with the better you know detail studio and garage layout it just wasn't worth it so this is what we got the two polka premium uh technically five uh polisher holders again you can put one here one here and these three here and the same here uh, I have this one here. I'm probably gonna put one more here for now once something moves. I might move that back as I, I've got, you know, potentially another polisher coming. Uh, Rupes is coming out with cordless units, so that's gonna really just put me over the edge with machines. 
I put these two shelves here. They're made for something like this, where you got like a three inch, uh, or you know, two inch, one inch, whatever the hell you got. You could put it on there, and I think technically you could use uh, that for that. Uh, so I put those there. I didn't want to go too low, just in case I had, for instance, five gallons. I got these. If you remember on my previous videos, these KXK, uh, they have a lifetime warranty. So they will hold up. And now that they're not on my bench like they were, they fit awesome. Very exciting. That's the OG, the polisher that started everything, the 7424XP. Uh, I did maybe three, four different cars in the beginning with that before I ended up getting the Rupes Mark III. So I am rambling. I just took a pre-workout shake. And it's just starting to kick in. Just starting to kick in. So we got that. I've got my four Poker Premium singles here. We got two Poker Premium shells. Fun fact about this real quick. They came, they were supposed to be the same, but they're different. This one had this kind of gap here, and this one had this kind of gap here. Not sure what the discrepancy was, but it kind of ended up working out because I've got smaller little um, backing plate type attachments for my, my rotaries, and I've got bigger um, backing plates for my other machines, so that worked out. I've got my limited edition, the Reaper by MacShine, by my other MacShine, so I ended up having their own little section because that's pretty much it for my MacShines other than the little mini rotary. Got one more shelf up here. Um, everything, again, is rock solid, steady, everywhere I need it to be. I got my Shine Mates, my two here, my um, corded and my cordless. I got my SPTA cordless and I was gonna try to, if I get more rotary, this is probably just gonna stick with the section. I ended up putting this on here. It's just a little 3D printed holder for my Ego, which I'm sure it would hold the weight of the battery also, but I keep the battery um, inside here because this is gonna be like my whole charging station. So I have power run to my cabinet. But yeah, that's it. Um, this last thing, this is supposed to fit your phone, but with my OtterBox case, my phone does not fit in here. I could technically bend this out, but uh, with my other cases, it does. For now, it is what it is. And then headphones that I keep charged before I polish. Just a cool little place for me to always remember where my headphones are. My other set of headphones is over there. I always keep both charged for when I'm doing a vehicle because you're talking about hours and hours. Usually one is way more than enough, but just in case it isn't, there we go. I got that. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little journey. Uh, again, I understand it's not top tier, like obsessed garage type thing. Uh, when we get the new house, I'm gonna have some kind of like wood backing or reclaimed wood or some kind of like fancy section to show off the, the machines and keep them all in a nice safe uh, place to showcase them basically. Not necessarily show off, to showcase them. Better wording. Uh, I'm very proud of these machines. They all have a special I guess place in my heart, special purpose for sure. Some of them I prefer for certain things. So yes, it is something I needed and wanted. Uh, when it comes to these two, not necessary uh, to have both, but I'm not gonna know if I like the SPTA or the ShineMate more unless I test it. I have a feeling it's gonna be more of a ShineMate uh, situation just from holding it and my limited experience with that, but that's for other videos. This is what we got. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm still, you know, in the process of tweaking little things, but I got all my machines out of this case and they're all easily accessible. I love the way it looks. Tell me what you think in the comments section below if you think it came out pretty good. Again, I am not a carpenter. If I could go back and do it again, I would have potentially had the piece of wood cut out a little bit more precise for there, but I do have the, uh, the wood so what I might do is take a piece of that wood and just fill in that gap there but do I care enough I don't know anyway that's all for today thank you so much for stopping by if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing if you are an OCD OG and I hope you are thank you for everything please pass the channel along to everybody and do me a favor if you're watching this please turn on notifications for some reason everyone is telling me that they never know when I post a new video I don't know what this is or why, but over the last year, my views have suffered tremendously because of it. Maybe I'm just not that interesting. Likely that's the case, but whatever it is, if you enjoy the content and you want to see, you have to remember to put notifications on or set a note. I, I usually post at least once a week. 
If not, just come back every other week. I don't know. Whatever. Do what you want. Or not. I don't care. But thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you guys.